Hi, I'm Marilyn San Clemente of Stamp with Marilyn, and welcome to my creative playground. Tonight, I'm going to show you the new June Paper Pumpkin Kit, which is made with the Countryside in paper and fits the dies and things. And there are some really, really cool things that you can make with this. So I've got lots of great ideas. Okay, so to get started now, so the cards for this month's Paper Pumpkin are use the Countryside in set. So with this set, you get enough supplies to make nine cards, three of three designs. And I have those designs here. These are the generic cards. I always make one set of the generic cards to show you what you get with the kit. And if you don't have a lot of time, you can just make the generic cards. And these are beautiful cards. So um, you can do a lot with this. And then I'm going to show you some ideas for other things that we can do. So with the kit, you get the card bases, you get three of each of these card bases. You get dimensionals to use, which I'm going to show you how to use those. And okay, yep, that's dimensionals. We get tags, we get the designs. These are pre stamped designs. We also get some embellishments, more tags. And then we get a couple of different sets of vases. So we get this pre-stamped vase and we get these white vases so that we can stamp the vase as well. And then with this set, there were also dies that were available, which I ordered. And here's another version of the vase. And does that fit this one or is it a little bit bigger? I thought it was bigger, but nope. No, it is the same size as that. Okay, I thought it was bigger, but I pre-stamped a bunch of things also um, with the stamps and things. And then these are the stamps that come with this set. So you've got the vase, which obviously you can cut out with that die. You've got this flower. You've got this really pretty floral design. And I'll show you how I use some of that. And then you've got a couple of messages. Thank you for your hospitality. You're invited, friend. Oh, there's the welcome. Thank you for your hospitality. You're invited, and then friend. And I know what I forgot to grab that I was going to grab before we got started. So I have each of these stamps set up on um, blocks here, and we will make a couple of additional cards. Cards. These are the three generic cards, and I really like. I love this. So this is that same paper. This is the Countryside Inn paper that comes in the Countryside Inn kit. And it's beautiful. It look, To me, it looks like wallpaper that should be in a bed and breakfast. And so there's this pretty design. This one's really cool, and I'll show you in a minute some things that you can do with that. It's got this one with the bunnies, this one with flowers. This one has foxes on it. And then this one has birds on it. So they're just pretty designs. And it's all all country designs. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that. And uh, this is the back side of the paper. So this coordinates very well with this. So I will keep the stamps from this paper pumpkin kit because I will use this to make more cards and things. So, But what I thought was really cool about this kit was they took the designs and they used it they um, printed it again in the Calypso Coral. Okay, so as I mentioned, you get three of each of these card bases. And so I make one of the generic cards and then I cut these other ones up because I'm going to use this paper. So this was two cards that I cut. So I've got um, four card fronts. I've got four card fronts of this design. And then I have four card fronts of this design. And what I did with this one was this was the navy blue i used this stamp and i stamped across and then i embossed it in white to make this border so we're going to do some stuff with that and i was also going to show you how to do a shaker card and then there are nine envelopes with this and i like this blue too this kind of reminds me of the seaside spray blue that we had a couple of years ago this you could actually cut the envelope up and use that for paper as well i've done that in the past too 
so there's the generic cards. Now what's really cool about this paper is as part of the Countryside Inn bundle, there is also this embossing folder. So you can emboss this paper and I ran it through today. You have to, it takes a little bit of practice to get it lined up. And you have to remember the design goes upside down, but the, the key to this, to lining this design up is working with this circle right here. So, but this is what it looks like when it's embossed. We'll see if I can show you. Oh yeah, you can see that. Okay, I'll move it down a little bit more. But you can see it embosses the circles, it embosses all these leaves, all these little flowers. And so it just makes, it's really, really pretty. And um, so that is the Countryside Inset. These are the dies. There's a stamp that you can use and you stamp, you stamp this once and then you can cut these all apart and um, use the different dies for different layers and things. So there's a lot that you can do with this. I actually recorded a video when this set first came out. So that would have been back in May. Um, and I know it's out on Facebook because I, I put it out on Facebook. So, um, so the other thing that I did was I also stamped, we've got these dies that you could buy that are an add-on for this. So I cut some extra vases and I stamped these vases um, with this pattern, as you can see, and um, embossed them with white embossing powder. And I thought what's really cool with the navy ones is they came out and they look kind of antique because the ink started to dry before I got the embossing powder on them. So it, they came out kind of inky, or kind of antique -y. sorry, not inky, antique -y. But anyway, okay, so that's what I have. And I have a couple of things to show you. So let's get started. Um, so this is a piece of basic white and it's four and a quarter by five and a half. So I'm going to score this. We're going to make a fun fold um, easel card. So we're gonna score this at five and a half. Move my cutting blade. And two and three quarters. Okay, and I cut this out from one of the pieces. So when I made this card, what I did was I cut this piece out and then um, this piece was going to cover it up anyway. So when you open this card up, it looks like this because I cut that piece out, but I wanted to have that extra piece to use for a card and um, just gives you more to use. So I stamped this as we were just talking about and this all fits together and then I cut the pieces and now I need to figure out how I'm going to put this together for um, for this fun fold easel card. Okay, and I also have a piece of um, clear uh, window sheet. It's a plastic window sheet and um, I was going to make this a shaker card as well. And then I stamped this also. So I'm going to fold this card and you know what? I don't have my bone folder. Ah, anyway, okay. So I'm going to fold this card and I'm gonna fold it here. So a an easel card will stand like this and then this piece will pop up but I thought that that might be too large, but maybe not, maybe that's not too large. I might cut that down one size. And then I'm going to put a piece here also. So this piece will go on the end. So this is two and five eighths by um, four and one eighth. So it fits across because this is four and a quarter. So I'm gonna attach that. And then you can also cut another piece that is 
um, the same size, you can cut one piece for here and then fold it in the middle so that when you fold your card, it will stand like that. Or you can cut a piece here and another piece here if you want. And so what I'm going to do is I want to use this. So I'm going to take a piece of this. So I'm going to cut this to two and five eighths. And then trim the side to four and one eighth. Attach that here. Okay, and now what I want to do, I, I do want to cut that down. I don't want a window that's quite that big, although it would work. I could do it, but um, yeah, I don't want one that's quite that big. So what I'm going to do is cut these down at least one layer, if not two. So let me grab the dies, which are right here. And so if I cut, so this is this one. So if I cut this down one layer here, and then cut this one down one layer here, I'm thinking, okay. And then I can use, so that means I could use this to outline that. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. I'm gonna use this and I'm gonna cut each of these down, and then I also need to cut the window sheet the same size, which is, I need to cut this window sheet the same size as the um, Calypso Coral piece. So the window sheet and the Calypso Coral piece will be cut here. And I'm gonna use this one to cut this. Okay, so I have this smaller piece here, so I'm gonna put this aside, put that back. So I have my piece of Calypso Coral in the window sheet, and I have my, I also have that, so I'm gonna save that frame. I can use that for something else. And then I want to use this as well. Okay, so now we're gonna put this all together. Okay, so what I want to do here is I'm going to attach that. That's gonna be the background. Um, for this and to make a shaker card you need to make some you need to use some thickness so we have these dimensional strips which I'm going to use so I'm going to use this I'm going to glue the window sheet to this piece and then we're going to use the dimensional strips to make that pop up. And so the first thing that we need to do before we do that, because we don't want to put that on yet, so let's glue. Okay, let me set that aside for a minute. So I have my liquid glue. So let's glue the window sheet. And I'm going to grab a color here to work on so that we can see better, or I can see better at least. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm using my fine tip glue. I'm just going to put a line around. There we go. Flip it over. Add this on here. Okay, what it's nice about the glue is you can kind of move it. You can slide it into place. So I've got the edges all. Okay, there we go. So now I'm just going to set that on top of there. This is how I let things dry <laughs> when I glue them. Okay, so I'm going to set that aside. Now we need to decide how we're going to decorate this. So I'm thinking take... Do I want one or two of these? I don't think I want the that boho blue. I think I want 
Let's take these two and put these on here. The extra stamps, or, or in the stamps, there were the flowers. And um, there was also this for the, um, oh my gosh, for the stems of the flowers. So let me, and then there was also these little green pieces that we could use for the flowers. So let me grab a bunch of those. And what I'm going to do Yeah, I think I want to do that. Okay. I'm going to do a bunch of these. So I want to do a few flowers here. So I stamped a few different colors. I stamped um, real red, crushed curry, and I stamped pumpkin pie. So it's a little bit more orange than this Calypso Coral. But it gives some variation. So let's put... the orange and the the orange and the yellow ones in that base and then let's put some of the red ones down here oops we'll put three or maybe I should use an orange one with that too okay so we'll put three down there And we'll put three there. So let's pop the bases up. I'm going to use some dimensionals. Okay, so I'm going to pop up this base. This is one of the bases, or both these bases are bases that came with the kit. If we are going to make this a um, shaker card, and I'm actually not sure that that will work because I think that the little pieces are going to get caught. I shouldn't have um, popped that up. The little pieces will get caught on there. But so we're going to put this over it like this. Oh, okay. This has the piece of window sheet on it. And now what I'm going to do is take these. These are our double-sided sticky, double-sided long dimensionals. And I'm going to put this here. My scissors are going to get goopy. Okay, now I'm going to peel all this off. So, I have three different colors of sequins here. I have this it's pink with a little bit of um, peachy color in it, so that might go well with the clips of coral. I have blue, <clears throat> and I have these green sequins. So, what do you think would be the best color? Okay, so as I mentioned, I'm not sure how well this is going to work as a shaker. I didn't think this all the way through. Oops, I already took that piece off. Okay, I didn't think this all the way through because I 
popped these up on dimensionals, so I have a feeling that the whatever color I use here is going to get stuck. But let's, okay, let's do a little bit of these. So we're going to put some in here. And now we're going to attach this. Okay, I want to do this. So what I want to do is try and line this up. I, I need to stand up to do this. Definitely have to stand up to do this. There we go. There's our shaker card. And yes, the sequins are caught. <laughs> but you can also see the flowers. You can see the the pieces. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to attach this to here. So I just want to use some glue on the back here. So I'm going to go part way down. And then I'm going to attach this. Like that. I'm going to let that sit for a minute. I have extra pieces now that I can use for other. Actually, this one, I could use this for the bottom. For To make a um, an easel card, you need a stopper. Uh, but actually, that works really well. That works really well. Um, I think I'm going to cut this out here. And I'll use that one for the bottom and we'll stamp a message on there. I really like this set. There's so much you can do with these these really cool pieces. <clears throat> okay, so now I'm gonna make this pop up on here. Okay, let's pop that up. There we go. And um, I will find a message to put on that. Oh, actually, I could use this hello friend. That would work. Okay, so for this one, I took the paper pumpkin kit and I combined it with the Countryside Inn um, designs and made this easel card. And it's actually a shaker card as well, but I think that these are going to get stuck because those are all popped up. So there is my easel card slash shaker card. And you could put another piece on back here. Um, let's see, I can do this. I've got this piece. I've got this, oops. I've got this really pretty design, which is what I used down here on this bottom. So let is, let's stamp, I've got the Calypso Coral here. Let's stamp that on. So that does have some dimension to it, whoops. Uh -oh. And what I can do is I'll go in and fix that with my um, Clips of Coral marker in a bit. So I will fill that in a little bit more. But so there is our card. card. So for this one, I used, I have again a piece of white that is four and a quarter by 11. And I'm gonna score that at five and a half. And then I took the blue card base and I stamped the design that we just stamped with the Calypso Coral. I stamped that with white ink and used white embossing folder and embossed that across this piece of blue. So now I want to cut this so that this is five and a quarter by four. And then that will make a card front. We'll put this on here. 
with that. We can put this here. And we can attach that. First, let's decorate this. Okay, so for this one, let's use one of these antique looking blue vases that I did. And let's do this blue vase. And then let's put this taller one in the center. Here we go, like that. Oops, okay, so now let's put this on. So I'm gonna use some dimensionals for that. And so these came in the paper pumpkin kit. Oops. If I use my take your pick tool, we have this putty end, which is really cool, because you can use that to pick things up. So you can use it to pick up some of these small little pieces, like here. Oh, there's Smokey, she's back. Okay, so I'm gonna put a dab of glue in the center of each of these flowers. And I'm going to put this down, like our gold one. Okay, I used the tip, the um, putty tip from the Take Your Pick tool, and I picked up some sequins and I put those in the centers of the flowers. So here's one alternative card, and here is an easel card. There we go. And let me put, I'm gonna Add a couple of these across here just to make a decorate that a little bit. It's kind of a plain Jane vase, isn't it? <laughs> so this is the new boho blue, this color. And let's do this up here. Let's put one there. And let's put one here. Okay, there we go. So there are our two cards for tonight. And these are the three cards that are part of the kit, if you just make the cards that come with the kit. Okay, and um, Thursday night, this coming Thursday night, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I will be doing my next class and it's going to be these two fun folds. It's going to be this pop-up accordion fold. And these are made, the ones that I made are made with the masterfully made paper and the paper florist dies to make the flowers. And then this is a three fold. I'm calling it a triple fold. Okay, so it folds up that way. And um, I will be demonstrating those on Thursday night at 7 p.m. 
Um, if you check my email tomorrow, if you're not on my mailing list, go out to stampwithmarilyn.com and sign up for my mailing list. Thank you so much for stopping by tonight and checking this out, and I will see you all soon. Take care.